Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. I've got a little bit of catching up to do here. Things are sort of speeding up with the SWTVC March Madness, so I want to go through the last results, which we could just round up as the Sweet 16 results. That's all happened now. And then also there's been a vote after that, sort of like the sub-result of the, the last 16. So here we go. This is it. This is alarming news, obviously. <laughs> Princess Leia has been knocked out by Hera Syndulla, so there you are. That's so uh, it's, it's a democratic vote. The people have voted, but it's it's a scandal. Um, Asajj Ventress is knocked out. The Grand Inquisitor, Han Solo, another one that's gone out. And this business of Sabine Wren, I was having trouble getting my head around it. I think she had quite an interesting angle, I suppose. I did see Rebels season four and three or whatever it was, but that whole thing with Clan Wren and yeah, do you know what? I sort of grew to like her a bit more. I suppose in that that part of the season it was interesting meeting her mother and all that i think but yeah i just you know an urgency for her figure i can't understand but anyway then we see our oh, obi-wan kenobi's out to tonica's sister that's a that's a shame let's have a look at the uh, <laughs> let's have a look at the pie charts to give you an idea of how tight things are look at this you see all the people below are the ot fans probably over 40. The others, the people below that, are another age demographic, most likely. Moving on, but they're both women, aren't they? It's great, isn't it? Let's see some more chicks in the TVC. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't mind as well. Bring it on. Speaking of female characters, we've got uh, uh, Asajj Ventress here versus the Grand Inquisitor, 61 to 49, well, 39, so it's like a 60 40 split. Um, so Asajj is ticking along nicely. Sabine Wren again, here we go. Look at that. Maybe people are just looking at the fact that we've had a lot of hands recently. And they've been good. You know, like the even going back to the Han Solo Stormtrooper disguise. That was a good figure. The people not voting for Han are the ones who don't understand the significance of getting him on that original New Hope card back. And I'm not talking retro collection here. I'm talking a modern definitive figure for Han Solo which we've not seen really god no not at all since 2004 man it's a long time Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi this is a tight vote so that's good to see but two OT characters head to head but the Tonica sister rightly so I suppose wins because we've never had the figure so re really you know one could argue the Tonica sister should be winning the whole damn thing and then this is the Sweet 16 East so you've got the East and the West and the results are as follows. Another win for Luke Skywalker. So important. If you don't understand why people are voting for Luke, you don't understand anything about Star Wars 3.75. In my opinion, I think it's crazy. There's a lot of people were saying in, in, in comment sections that I was reading, they were saying, you know, an, an, they, they were saying another Luke? Why do you want another Luke? Because we've never had this Luke done properly ever. You know what I mean? Ever, especially in the vintage collection. Farm boy Luke is is a gaping hole, man. So you get your head around that. Saw Guerrero goes out. Then yeah, we've got Pong Krell losing to Revan. That's I think I prefer the, that that result there. <laughs> so well done, Revan. That's good. And the Dooku survives again. Well done, Stuku. Wow, look at that. That's a big win against Chrysanthemum. You'll see the pie chart in a minute. And then Cobb Vanth versus uh, it's a shame. Yeah, Grand Admiral Thrall, that's a figure I really want done properly in TVC, but obviously he's not winning against our man. Cobb Vanth is great as well, don't get me wrong. So here are the pie charts, look how tight that is between Luke and Saw Gerrera. Wow. And look at that one, another one there for Pong Krell. And see, he's got a lot of the man, Pong Krell. He, he would be a great figure, can you imagine him? Fully articulated in TVC. That's amazing for Dooku. That... There you go, Hasbro. Look at that pie chart. Enough said. I mean, he'd be great as well. Chrysanthemum, he's... Wow, I thought, you know, given the bloody Harrison Doolas winning and Sabine Wren, how come Chrysanthemum isn't? It's amazing. <laughs> anyway, so Cobb Vanth versus Thrawn, and there is your split there. That is that. So let's wrap this up now, ladies and gentlemen, and have a look at this... What was this? The Elite Eight. The last eight. And there it is. All these res <laughs> When I got in from my, I was out last night and I um, got in and I was like looking down the list and 
I voted for all the all the wins here except for one, and it was Sabine Wren. I voted for the Tonica sisters, and I can't believe that Sabine Wren has done the damage on on the Tonicas. I think it's, I think it's ludicrous. I really don't get it. For all the Mandos we've had recently, even like you know we've had Bo Katan, and why her? Since you've 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 not got any of the the crew coming out, and clearly nobody wants. Harrison Dula, why do you all want Sabine Wren versus the Tonica sisters? I guess it's a it's an age thing, isn't it, man? You don't you don't know the power of the dark side. You know you don't know the significance of the missing Tonica sisters, plural. You know what I mean? Never be made ever. So that said, ran over. Let's have a look at this big win for. I mean, look at that. Two girls. Sarge Ventress and yeah all the way Sarge Ventress I love Ventress Sabine beats the Tonicas as discussed Luke wow tight on Revan there look at that but it's nice to see Luke popping his head up man so you people commenting negatively about Luke on Instagram <laughs> you know what I mean you, you, you struck me as not understanding why we need this figure but you know get your head around it Dooku beating Cobb Vanth, wow. Brilliant, considering who Cobb Vanth has just wiped out. Look at that. Who did he wipe out again? Let me just have a look. Yeah, Thrawn he wiped out, which was amazing. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of it. This is the last four now. You're down to the last four, let's have a look at it. Look at this. Join the Vintage Concepts and the Mile High Ground as they run down the bracket with Boss Bounty. Oh yes, I watched that video. They were talking about it. So go check that video out on Tim's channel. And uh, let's bring it on, man. Can't wait to see the results of this. There is the last four, the final winner. So you've got Luke versus Count Dooku. My God. On the other side, you've got Sarge Ventress versus Sabine Wren. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Uh, they're all good characters. All these four are great characters. I'd say, in my own eyes, the weakest character is Sabine. But she's probably going to win it. Look how well she's done so far. Do you know what? All the best to her. I've got a figure of her. I've never opened the one with the removable helmet. Went on eBay a couple of hours ago to see what the value was. And she's uh, not that expensive, really. So, yeah. I might open that. I might open that figure soon. Have a look at it. But there you are, ladies and gentlemen. The last four. Looking forward to voting on that. For that. I think it's today, actually. The voting is happening today. I'm recording this video on Sunday night. And I think the final vote is happening on the day that I'm posting this video. Which will be the Monday, the 27th. So what will be will be. And I will report on the results when it's all in. Thank you for listening to this video. I've been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.